It's the communication exhibition. Let's go inside and check it out. You know, I always wanted to know more about the origins of language. Let's try this exhibit. How did language start? No one knows the answer, but there are many theories. Explore the evidence and decide for yourself. Let me turn this so I can reach the one I want. So let me check out this brain. Okay, so Broca's area. It's for language in humans, but for movement in chimps. I can also compare the left hemisphere and the planum temporale. Oh look, brain function is listed in my evidence notebook on the right. Let me look at some more evidence. They may be our closest cousins, but chimpanzees are a long way from talking. They can't make human sounds, and the calls they do make are largely automatic, like a person crying out when hurt. But in one area, they are closer to human language abilities. In the wild, chimps use gestures to say many things, and chimps can be trained to communicate with simplified sign language motions. Scientists debate how close this is to real sign language, but chimps' gestures are plainly closer to language than their voice calls. For this reason, some scientists think language may have started out as a system of gestures, which evolved into speech at a later date. Hmm. I didn't know that chimps could gesture like that. Let's check out this ear. Hmm, I don't get it. Language is fun. Oh, that's how someone with a normal brain would say it. And that's how you'd sound if you'd suffered brain damage. So by studying people with brain damage, we learn that there's a brain circuit for speaking and understanding language. Let's check out this fossil. The hyoid, very similar in humans and Neanderthals. And the brain case. Both brain cases indicate big brains. Hmm, so humans and Neanderthals have some similarities. Let's check out what notes I've collected so far. I think I'd still like to look at one more piece of evidence before I vote on a theory. Chinchillas can recognize some speech sounds. Cotton top tamarins can tell the difference between two languages. And songbirds learn songs from their parents. What's unique to humans? Oh, we combine sounds for longer expressions and complex ideas. I think I'm ready to vote now. So we've got language as social glue. Language is old. Language is new. Language started as speech. Oh look, I can compare the chart to the notes in my notebook. All right, I'm ready now, let's vote. I'm going to go for languages old. Hmm, 47% of visitors voted just like me. The table works using near infrared light, similar to what is used in nighttime security cameras. The underside of the table is lit up using infrared LEDs. And when someone touches the surface, the light hits the person's fingers and is reflected back to a camera that is under the table. The camera is connected to a computer that analyzes the images many times per second, looking for touches. Because the camera sees the whole table surface at once, the computer can detect and track 
multiple simultaneous touches, making the table multi-touch. This kind of surface is ideal for museum interactives because it enables several people to interact at once in a social exploration of the exhibit's content.